Cemetery. In fact, for a moving tribute, thousands of American flags have been placed at Fort Snelling National Cemetery. In fact, for the first time in 35 years, a flag is displayed now at every grave. Our Callan Gray has more for us now. Each flag is placed with care. It's an honor to do it. A small symbol of respect and appreciation. The thankfulness that we all feel for the sacrifices that they went through for us. Louise Angramson and Mary Ellen Klausman are among 8,000 volunteers placing flags at every gravestone at Fort Snelling National Cemetery. Both of their fathers served. So did Angramson's husband. Klausman has family and friends buried here. I'm placing flags for members of family that can't be here that would like to see their loved ones flag. It's a privilege, they say, to then send a picture to that hero's family. The volunteers went through every section of the cemetery. Among them, Don Helderson, who carries with him memories from World War II. He says it's moving to be part of this. Quite an honor. Thank you. It's powerful to know that so many people are making this a priority and that they care and they want to be part of it. Kaylin Green was a key part of the Flags for Fort Snelling team. For the first time in 35 years, every grave will be marked. As a veteran, it's really it's really inspiring to know that we, we matter here in Minnesota and that people do care. Even after we're not breathing anymore and we're in the dirt, um, complete strangers still care about us. She says this was started four years ago by a local mother who, with her friends and family, bought flags and placed them after finding out a program at the cemetery no longer existed. Flags for Fort Snelling then became a nonprofit three years ago. The project has grown from placing 10,000 flags then to 20 times that. We owe them. And, and we're very appreciative of what they did and the message we're sending to the families that we'll never forget this. We'll never forget them or what they've done. These flags will be here until Thursday for anyone who wants to come and pay their respects. Then they will be packed up and stored until next year. Reporting, Kellen Gray, 5 Eyewitness News.